Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is Old Man Hitch and this is a quick review of NBA Playgrounds, which is a 2v2 arcade style basketball game developed by Saber Interactive and published by Mad Dog Games. Saber Interactive is an interesting story. They were founded in 2001 in New Jersey and they've grown to now have offices in Russia, Spain, and the Ukraine. Their website bills them as one of the few remaining independent game studios still producing AAA content and they specialize in applying proprietary cross-platform game engines to original IPs and they've worked on big franchises like Quake and Halo as well as created their own 3D game engine. NBA Playgrounds is their latest game. It was released on May 8th and it retails for $19.99. When it was first released it had a few issues and I'm pretty glad that I waited to make this review because they've already addressed a lot of the minor stuff. Like, there was a bug when you went into the menu to turn down the music, which you pretty much had to do because it's quite loud. The game would revert right back to 100% as soon as you left the menu, even if you applied settings before leaving. And little things like not having a meter to give you any kind of feedback on when to release your shot, leaving you basically guessing and trying to get down the muscle memory timing, which turned out to be a little harder than it ought to be. But now there's a meter, and I guess the whole point of what I'm saying is Saber has been very responsive to customer feedback. Not only issues, but adding content as well. They've added 15 new players to unlock, and I say unlock in a bit of irony. But more on that later, as the way that you access new players is probably my biggest issue with this game. Also on release, you couldn't play against a friend, but they've added that. Three pointers were unbalanced, especially in online ranked play, but they've made them more difficult and made them so they don't affect your lottery pick bar, which is a special meter that fills up and gives you various boosts throughout the game. But I'll show you all that in a minute. These settings are basic, but I wouldn't exactly call them Spartan by any means. There aren't a ton of resolutions to choose from, but hopefully you'll see here what you're looking for. After that there's full screen or windowed mode. There are four graphical presets ranging from very high to low. The game feels quite natural with a controller so I haven't tested the keyboard and mouse controls but they are rebindable which is great. You get separate sliders for music and sound effects which is nice and you can turn on or off the commentator and the shot meter. It would be nice if the commentator had his own volume slide. The game modes are Exhibition, Tournament, and Online Play. In Exhibition you can pick your team and the opposing team, or just random for a challenge. Then you pick your map. There's eight total, but they aren't all unlocked when you first get the game. They are unlockable and I'll show you how to do that when I talk about the tournament play. You can choose a win condition like scoring a certain amount of points or you can just choose time and it'll be whoever has the most amount of points when the clock runs out. And you can pick a difficulty and a ball skin. Next up is tournaments and this is probably the game mode where you'll spend most of your time if you aren't going to be playing online against other players. There's a couple of nice features in tournament play each map has four matches that you'll need to win. Once you've beaten the final team, you'll unlock the next map. Additionally, there's little challenges to each match, like get X number of steals or X number of alley-oops or three-pointers in a row. Some of them are quite difficult and some of them are pretty easy. So that's tournament play. It's probably my favorite game mode and where I've spent the majority of my time. Last up is online play. My experience with it has been hit or miss. The game's tutorial encouraged me to go into online play after only like my third match and my very first match was against a player ranked in the top 10 of the leaderboards. The fact that his players were better because you have to unlock players, they were max level because there is a progression, and he was playing someone who obviously didn't even know what he was doing was completely lost on this guy and he proceeded to try to score 100. I think I held him somewhere in the 70s. Uh, and I did manage to break double digits, although very late in the game, so it was a moral victory, I think. <laughs> Actually, it was seriously discouraging, and my second game was another mismatch and I got blown out again. Eventually, I fell down to a rank where I could match up against players with similar skill and unlocks, but by then I was pretty jaded and I haven't spent much time with it after that. 
The other menu options are the cards collection, which has all the NBA teams, and each team has anywhere from three to eight players that you can unlock with RNG card packs. This is probably the game's biggest negative for me, and it sparked an idea for a video about how much I hate loot boxes and card packs, but that's for another day. It's completely unnecessary in this game, and as I mentioned earlier that in online play, you can match up against someone who has better players than you, and there's really nothing you can do about it. So how do you get those players? Well, it's just random luck from opening packs that you get from leveling up. I don't understand the point of card packs in this game, especially because the game allows for duplicate cards to be rolled, which just gives that player a bit of XP, but if you're never going to play that player anyway, it's pointless. But it also means that there's no secondary currency system, like you might get in Overwatch's coins or Hearthstone's dust, that might allow you to get players without RNG. You can't even tell who the mystery players are until you get lucky and open them. I wish they had gone with some kind of point system that would allow you to unlock the specific players that you want to use, or use the challenges that I mentioned earlier when I was talking about the tournament mode in conjunction with unlocking more special players, because unfortunately, having better players matters in online game. It just gives an advantage. Let's talk about gameplay for a bit. Uh, if you haven't noticed by now, it's two on two full court. And after a small learning curve, you'll be pulling off killer dunks and alley-oops and raining threes. There's now a little meter that can be turned on and off that will give you a little bit of feedback on when you need to release the button to have a successful shot. When the game was released, you just had to guess, and it was a pain. As you perform dunks and steals and blocks and alley-oops, you'll build up a meter that you can see at the top of the screen. When the meter fills up, you'll get a random power-up that will last for a while, like unlimited sprint, or you'll get a one-time guaranteed bucket with no skill check, or sometimes point multipliers will appear on the court, and if you make a bucket from inside the multiplier, you'll get double the points. You'll occasionally get bonus points for a perfect skill check or making the first bucket of the game, so it's possible to start the game off with a five-pointer, three points like normal, one extra point for making the first point, and one extra point for a perfect shot, meaning you release the ball at the perfect moment. You easily perform crossover moves using the right analog stick, and those are 100% necessary to learn to do because otherwise you're just going to have the ball chain stolen from you over and over again. This is something I didn't learn about until after my first few online matches, and as your player levels up, it will unlock fancier crossover skill moves, and there's no list anywhere of what your player can do or exactly how to pull off each move. So I guess it's just trial and error, or hopefully you can find online somewhere because there's no in-game help in that regard. There is a shove button that you can use to prevent a dunk or just steal the ball, but it will completely empty your power-up meter, so it's not really worth using unless you have an empty meter already. Overall, the game is smooth and fun, and it reminds me of the old-school arcade games like NBA Jam and NBA Street. Unfortunately, I don't find it to be as complex or engaging as those games, but part of that might just be my sense of protective nostalgia for those titles. But seriously, if they could make an updated version of NFL Street, I might never play another game. I miss that franchise. All in all, I think NBA Playground is a solid title. It's worth its price of $19.99 for what you get, and the dev team seems to be incredibly responsive and willing to work hard to fix problems and add features and content. I strongly dislike the path they've chosen with regards to how you unlock players via RNG card packs. It feels not only unnecessary and unoriginal, but I think it's a drag on your online progress. Additionally, there could be more robust in-game tutorials with regards to the various combos and moves that you can do. So there you have it, my thoughts on NBA Playgrounds available for $19.99 at your favorite PC store. My name is Old Man Hitch. I hope you've enjoyed the video and would consider a like or subscribe. Tell me what you think in the comments below, and you can find me on Twitter and Twitch, and I also have a Steam group. You'll find all those links in the description below. I appreciate your time and thank you for your support. Have a great day. Quick handle! We are witnessing a resurrection! Pippen, sharing the ball. Oscar Robertson. Snow! Snatched. Ooh, baby! Here he goes with an
another jumper, making his mama proud. He climbs the imaginary ladder. They're on the run with the pass. He's breaking ankles. Oscar Robertson. Look out for the brick. Not what he had in mind. You've got the victory. It's all about the win, baby. Going to the next level. 